and very nice. Once you have defeated fear itself, the dark will lend you its strength. Okay. Now, is there... They talked about the Masamune. The, I think the Masamune is still here and up for grabs. We're not done yet. Okay, this is something I decided to double check and I'm pretty sure I'm done with this area. Um, the Masamune I don't think can be obtained from this area. No one knows where it's hidden. So I thought maybe, you know, there's a way in which it's actually hidden here, but no one's ever found it kind of thing. But it's not here. So you get the, the Kiku Blade, but not the Masamune from here. And let's double check that I've got all of the the chests and stuff. For four and items zero for zero, I guess. Okay. So I think this really means we are ready to make an onslaught towards the next area. Perfect. Okay. So I will switch back to my trusty black belt. Almost got my first level 99 job. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, it's time to cross the seas. Ah, it's time to get out of here first. And then we've got to do a little like hop, step and jump over a bunch of mountains to get to the next part. Definitely enjoyed myself a lot with this game so far as well, I have to say. To me it still feels like a like the the kind of the godfather of Final Fantasy V, which I enjoyed immensely in terms of its gameplay especially. And so that's why it's in like, it's the type of Final Fantasy that I enjoy, I would say. Like, I have been enjoying the job system and that kind of thing. So it's, uh, it's definitely been a strong entry for me as well. And that's not a strong effort to get over there. What is the entry point for this? I managed to start, like, getting into this bit, but I forgot from where. It's not going to be any of that. I think it has to be from here. Yeah. At any point, like getting off on any of these, I just want to get into a random encounter in case, like, it's there's something very specific in these little bits. This might be a bad idea, might be a bad idea. I'm still gonna air roger they ass. good enough. But yeah, it seemed like a pretty normal encounter, nothing too special. But it also reminded me that I should get a quick rest in here. Okay. Let's keep hopping. a lot of work to do here. Okay. I don't even know, at this stage I'm starting to wonder if I'm doing the right thing. One of these bits has to have an entrance point. Yeah, I think, yeah. Okay. Uh, what? Come on. Oh. Okay. I completely forgot again that there was encounters. They just appear so sporadically. Just 
aero these guys. Wow, that was not a lot of that. <laughs> but we did okay. Yeah, so it should be this one. Let's go. No? Let's not go. That wasn't it. I guess you can continue to go around, I think. That's probably what I didn't do. I thought it was like a rear entrance and you come out from the other side, but I think it's this still. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Even that is enough. Right, now we're ready. A bit of a trek to get here, but we did it. So I think I'll save before entering. Over my most recent, it's a pretty close save anyway. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Cave of Shadows. Uh... Down. I have come here from Falgabar to further my training. Be careful of the monsters in this cave. They multiply when attacked with normal swords. They really want you to continue on the whole... Um, I totally forgot that this was the actual Cave of the Shadows. I thought it was still in Falgabar. Fine. It would be silly to, to not do this now. I'm still going to keep the Evoker. Again, I want those um, extra levels to be able to summon the Hornet. Okay. Cool. Let's begin. So probably an even harder set of enemies. Wow, one called Valafor. I didn't even notice that. I think it might have been in the other cave as well, but I totally forgot. Valafor. Yeah, I think Bahamut's coming soon, but not quite. I should, to be honest, just try attacking with magic, but I assume that's kind of too easy. I don't think you can get away with just using magic and, and then not multiplying if you do. Like, every time I've used a summon, it's been a one-hit KO, so it's not been a problem. But... Ah, he went onto row by accident. Nice, that's good damage. Putting them to sleep kind of works well too. So I'm just going to try a magic spell on one of them. I've got to know. And at least I can get all of the blitzing in on them. Yeah, so it didn't multiply, interestingly. One hit KO again. But I remember in the previous area where we had something like this, again, it wasn't like guaranteed that they would multiply. Works for me. We're keeping up. Oh, nice. That's a good find. Sir, are you alright? I thought I had mastered the Dark Blade. I was wrong. But perhaps it was fate that brought us together. Here, take this sword. Oh, he just died? Well, okay. So now we can double Kotetsu? 
Nice. Two, two, three, two, three, five. I mean, I've got some powerful Dark Knights going here. I'll take that. Also, let's have a look at their statuses and compare them because they've been on different kind of pathways. 10, 2, 3, 5, 10, 2, 3, 3. But like stat-wise, they're exactly the same, interestingly enough. Well, okay, their HP is different, but I would have assumed because they went down, like one was Black Belt, one was like a Knight and then a Dragoon. I thought their, their kind of boost boosted stats when they got levels would be a bit different, but fair play. Oh man, one hit KO coming up. Okay, Blizzara was good. I'm glad they hit me with Blizzara. <laughs> okay, that worked out pretty well. I'm just going to change everyone's rows first here. I'm off there quick. Again, Blizzara, good call. Thank you. They are not taking as much damage as I'd like. I'm still just experimenting a little bit with using magic instead. Until I see it multiply. Yeah. It's still not multiplying. I don't know if I'm just getting lucky here. Or... Maybe if you use the, the weapon version, it counts as like a weapon hit. And then it's different. Whoops. Wait, it's not an item? Okay. Oh, come on now, really? Okay, I've got a bit lucky, I would say, with that. Ah, cheap shot. Cheap shot before I was ready. Now let's try this one. Yeah, it's starting to get some really nice damage here. Barring the back attacks, we're, we're doing fine. Okay. Only two hits, what? That was unlucky. Right, so let's see, when it's a weapon cast one. No, still not multiplying. So it's kind of odd that the game doesn't tell you that. It's like, it does say attacked with uh, weapons they multiply, but still, saying something like, I don't know, you should use magic is a good idea. I also piloted there with Refia, and I got lucky it didn't multiply. Whoa, okay. Let's get this. So having a team of mages seems to work pretty nicely too.
Knowing my luck, this entire time they didn't multiply, and now they're all going to multiply when I use it, but whatever. Until I actually see some multiplication from a spell, there's no way I can know. Nice. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah. This time we do have a deeper cave, I have to say. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oof, nine hits from the back row to 550. Me. Wow. Almost. I feel like Ingus basically never gets hit. It's always Lunith. It's really odd. At least I know that's one thing. So there's multiple. Okay, I got it. They probably lead to the same room, but I just want to try the other side as well. <sighs> the back attacks are pretty harsh here. I have to say. Ten hits. Let's see how we do. Would have preferred the heal this time around, but we'll take it. At least that's one of them gone. And Inga's actually getting hit this time as well. But again, it's just the speed. You can see how many times they've attacked since we started the battle. They've got three hits in each. I think Cura is starting to become like a bit not enough at this stage, but I just don't have that many Curaga points, despite being almost a level 99 white mage at this stage. Yeah, I've only got four Curagas, which is not good. So that's why, again, the Evoker is actually doing well because of that Ifrit summon. That's one of the main reasons I'm keeping it around at this stage. The first like cave we've had of this nature that's a lot more difficult to navigate potentially. But I don't want to use too much uh heatra. Wow, it survived the clobber? What? I was looking at my phone just while it was uh, clobbering. And I was like, wait, it's still there? What the hell? See ya. So that's Cave of Shadows B5. Wow, so many little bits. I feel like the odds of you missing an item here are like huge. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I need 
a few more like quick quick battles like this. Because this cave is deep. It's the first, one of the first ones we've seen of, of this kind of depth. B6. Yeah, you see, now I want to know what's on the other side. Does it just exactly lead to the same thing? Because it was a different setup on the other side. So, I've got to know. Ugh. Yeah, I'm kind of asking for trouble by backtracking and trying different routes and stuff like that, but... It's the first time we've basically had a cave this extensive in the game, so I want to make the most of it. Nice. Basically, if none of them die here, uh, we'll be in a bit of trouble. Look at them, just, they, so often they seem to just pick on someone and really go for them. Wow. Everyone else is close to max HP. Okay. If I dally around too much, I'm going to start to have MP problems, so I've got to be a bit careful here. So especially with some more of these like backtracky sections, I will potentially try to flee a little more. Yeah, so this was the place I was curious about. Ah, okay. So that's what this entire bit was for. Might be something really good. Magic Defense is excellent, for the mages at least. Wow, that was really bad. That was better, as was that. Alright, now I'm curious, what is this? Genji Gloves, ooh, ooh, yeah, look at that, look at that, excellent, okay, let's see him in action, okay, the white mage is so quick sometimes, so like, let me take some damage, man, But now, hopefully, the two Blade Blitzers should be enough. Ah, not quite, but this will do the job. Good stuff. Take out at least two. Nice. Definitely take that. Yeah, we need to we need to get to the end of this bit now. The white mage has done a lot of heavy lifting with the with the healing, and I've tried my best not to flee too much here. One hit KO from a Blade Blitz is nice to see. Okay. These guys must have good evasion, man.
Okay, now we're back on track. We did this. Ah, just before I could press it. I'll end up auto battling as a result. That's unlucky. I was pressing square to look at the map. It happened at exactly the same time. So this was completely, like, unintentional, of course. Um. Hopefully it's not going to result in a massive problem here. I, I caught it quite early, so we only did one set of attacks. Okay. But it's that auto battle, man. Toggling it with square. I need to, I need to check that and maybe change it or something. It's a bit too easy to, to trigger off by accident. And like, it, I guess it started doing it before the battle even loaded, like, it's just, it's weird. Okay. Set auto battle to remain on the next battle, okay, interesting. But yeah, I'm not going to get into it in case I mess anything up, I'll just, it's only happened like two or three times the entire run. Should be okay. Damn, look at this place. It is funny, it's one of those things I did mention in this session and now it's starting to, to come into effect here. Worst case, I think I will have to use a um, an elixir on arc if MP concerns become major. So far, so good. Ah, another one. Sheesh. Yeah, he's already got double of those. Yeah. I mean, we have enough weapons to turn everyone into Dark Knights now, which is pretty dope. But this is not nice. But Luna's Blade Blitz is going to be very, very strong now. Yeah, this should be enough to take everybody out. Yes, perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Look at that. Almost 800 healing for everybody. It's basically like a Curag almost. Sweet. Sweet. 